Hey guys, I've done videos in the past where we talked about all the newer technology. We've talked about communicating systems. We've talked about inverter systems. We've talked about some of the newer technologies that other companies are coming out with, with inverters, without communicating technology, things like that. But I want to do a real quick video. I know I always say it's going to be quick and then it's not, but this one should be decently quick. And that is, I just wanted to do a real quick video and touch on the fact that not all SEER is created equal. Not all systems that say that it's this SEER versus that SEER, you know, or whatever, it's not equal playing field. And what I mean by that is you could have a 16 SEER system here and a 16 SEER system there and based on the technology, be way different efficiencies. So usually when people are looking at SEER, they care about their power bill. They care, they care about how efficient that system is gonna be. And I just want you to know that not all systems are created equal. I went through this on a video where I explained SEER and how SEER could be disappearing based on what it is. And just real quick, SEER is just a reading that they take when the system's running at 100% capacity, when there are systems out there on the market that are never hardly running at 100% capacity. They could be running way down in this area, 30%, 50%, way more than 100%. So when we're talking about systems that are inverter, for example, one of the systems we install is the Daikin Fit. It's a 17 SEER inverter system, while there are other systems out there that might be, say, a two-stage 18 SEER. Okay, I just had a customer the other day reach out to me and they said, hey, you know, I'm getting a couple quotes and this company said, hey, uh, you know, I got the Dyke and Fit, but I also got this Carrier Performance Series 18 Seer 2 stage, which is more efficient. I just want you to know that even though it's only 17 Seer, that inverter system, because it's an inverter communicating system, is going to be more efficient in the long run. It's going to have lower electric bills and things like that especially on mild days because even if it's a two-stage system you still got that spike in energy when it turns on and you still have on a mild day where there's never it's never going to run less than say whatever that first stage is let's say it's 70 percent capacity at that point versus a hundred percent so it's saving a little energy but it's never going to go lower like that inverter system. There's other things that can affect SEER. Not all SEER is equal. Things like the coil size. We've seen systems that, you know, it might be a 15 SEER with a three ton air handler and it's this efficiency, but if you put a four ton air handler on there, it actually makes it a 16 SEER or a 15 and a half SEER because larger coil airflow more efficient and things like that. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, put them down below. If you're kind of comparing systems and check out our website, newhvacguide.com. I think that has some info that will help you with comparing stuff like that too. But just realize not all SEER is created equal when you're comparing apples to apples. Inverter systems are king. They're gonna be more efficient than just about anything else in most cases. And then finally, if you are in the market for a new heating and air system, if you're in the Middle Peninsula or Northern Neck of Virginia, give us a call, Griffin Air. We would love to earn your business. But if you're not in our coverage area, you're somewhere else in the country and you are in the market for a new heating and air system, before you spend thousands, check out my new website, it's called newhvacguide.com. I'll put a link to it down in the comments. And this website, I basically wrote a book, made it a guide, put it on this website, and instead of having a book that would be outdated within a year or two, I'm able to constantly add things on there if new things come out. And the other thing is I've even put information on there that people in our industry don't even want you to know. So I've got a whole page called no-nos and you know just things to stay away from and so on. That being said, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.